What's up YouTube, it's Robo13. It's been about two weeks since I posted my last video and I'm really sorry I haven't posted one in the uh, past couple weeks, but I've just been swamped with school as you can tell. My whole desk is covered with crap. Uh, I got just everything is, I, I'm just really busy right now. So, but I've decided to make a video on the five, on the uh, iOS 5.0 tethered jailbreak. Um, I'm using a Verizon iPhone 4 with a Mophie Juice Spec Plus right here, as you guys can tell. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do to jailbreak the 5.0 uh, software that everybody has now, pretty much. Um, this is going to be on my Mac Mini, so if you guys can follow along on this, it's, a, it's the exact same uh, thing on a PC. I have my laptop right here, but it, it's the exact same setup and process as on a PC. So you just need to download this uh, version of Red Snow right here. It's uh, I think it's 0.9.9 .9 beta 6. I'll have links in the description, so please look in the description for the links for the Red Snow. Uh, all you have to do is download this one file. You don't have to download anything else. Uh, you have to have your device plugged in. I have it through the Mophie Juice Spec Plus uh, through the USB cable into my Mac Mini up there. So that works for me. You guys can use the 30-pin uh, connector, the white connector right here to plug it in as well. So just have your device plugged in. Double click on the Red Snow after you download it and install it. You'll come up to this kind of screen. It says blah, blah, blah. It says jailbreak or extras. So you're going to want to click on jailbreak. And then it's going to tell you to turn your device off and keep it plugged in. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to hold on the top button up here. Okay, I'm going to scroll that over and then let the little spinny wheel thing go. Then uh, press the next button down there or you can put it into DFU mode but I'm going to hit the next button and show you guys what to do. So this is fully turned off. I'm going to set the camera down and I'm going to hit the next button and then show you guys exactly what to do. Okay. So you're going to hit next and then you're going to hit the home. You're going to hit the top corner button to turn it on for two seconds. Then you're going to hit the top corner button and the home button for 15 seconds. Alright, and then when that turns off you're going to release the corner button but keep holding the home button until the device gets into DFU mode. All right, and then once it's into DFU mode, you'll see this on the screen. It'll say uploading first stage, waiting for reboot. Your screen should flash white, just like that. All right, it'll say waiting for reboot. I'll keep these next to each other. It'll say a bunch of things. <laughs> it'll say processing or patching kernel. And then you'll get to this screen. I'll say install Cydia, install custom bundle, or enable multitasking gestures. Uh, that's how you can enable the multitasking gestures on the iPad 1. Uh, this does not work for the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S. Just a heads up for that. Uh, but I'm going to do install Cydia and enable multitasking gestures and click next. All right, and it's going to say processing. waiting for reboot and then you're going to get this little symbol to say jet downloading jailbreak data it'll say uploading ram disk and then you're going to get a bunch of code that shows up on the on your device in a, just a second right here see so there's all the code <coughs> so there's all the code for the jailbreak right there and then it'll say done on there so then you can even exit out of this which I'm going to do right now exit out of that and then it'll finish on here but then one thing, this is a tethered jailbreak. So once this is done rebooting and you come back to your home screen, you need to then go back into Red Snow. And then you see here, then you need to go to Extras and then wait right here, okay? So wait for this to finish booting, get into the extra section in Red Snow, and then wait for this to be done booting. And I'll tell you guys what to do after that. All right, then you're gonna do this little pineapple symbol. It's gonna say installing bundles. And once this finishes, it will reboot and it will bring you back to the uh, regular home screen. There's the Apple symbol. Again, this does not work for the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S. It will work for everything else, though, that can run iOS 5. So that includes the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, Verizon, and AT&T, and the iPad 1, okay? So the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4Ss do not uh, work with this jailbreak just yet. All right, it'll then bring you back to the home screen. It'll then find your carrier, or if you're using an iPhone, and then you're going to slide to unlock. Scroll over. You'll see that there's Cydia, but it is a white square, and when you click on it, it'll just keep exiting back to the home screen. It will not work. Don't freak out. This is supposed to happen because it is a tethered jailbreak. So now, 
when then you need to go back into Red Snow and click on the extras uh, the extras button and then click on just boot the just boot tethered right now click on just boot it'll bring you back to a familiar page just from the last time and now you need to hold this in slide this to power off all right and then that little spinning wheel is going to show up and when it turns off just like that then you're going to hit the next button again and go through the exact same steps all right so i'm going to put the camera down the next button and show you guys what to do. So I'm gonna hit the next button. I'm gonna hold in the top corner button for two seconds, then hold in the top and the power button, then hold in the top and the home button for 10 seconds. All right, then I'm gonna let go of the top corner button, but keep holding the home button until it reboots. All right, and now it says exploiting with lime rain. Uploading first stage, it should flash white again, I think, yep, right there. Waiting for reboot. Processing and patching files. You get the little pineapple symbol. And then it'll say done. And then you just have to wait for it to reboot. You can even exit out of this once again. Now you're done with red snow and now you have this. But this is a tethered jailbreak so anytime your device turns off or reboots uh, you will have to run red snow to get it working again. Uh, if you respring your uh, device, such as if you have SP settings and you hit respring on it, or if it says respring device, if it says respring, you'll be okay. If it says reboot, then you have to run Red Snow again. All right, so you have to avoid rebooting or having your phone die. That's why I have the um, uh, Mophie Juice Pack Plus on this, so the battery will last forever. And then right here, it'll reboot. All right, there it is. Gonna let it all sync up now. All right, I'm gonna slide to unlock. Scroll over to Cydia, and now you'll see that Cydia is an actual icon now, and when you click on it, it'll bring you to the Cydia homepage. So you hit next, done, and there you go. It'll then reboot. Throw then uh, add all the extra sources and everything and then you're good to go and that's how you get Cydia and that is how you jailbreak your iOS 5 device. I'll show you guys it is iOS 5. I'll scroll down and show the notification center right there. My classes uh, and I'll even show you guys the settings and the software update button in general. Software update. There you go. iOS 5. So this is the updated version of iOS 5, and this is the newest jailbreak that you can do for it. I hope you guys like this video. Sorry I haven't posted a video in, a, in two weeks. I'll be posting videos at least once a week now, uh, hopefully more. Uh, just please hit the like button down below if this helped you guys out. Uh, post a comment below if you have any questions or if you guys want me to do any other videos. And uh, make sure you subscribe to me for new videos. Just hit the subscribe button right up there. And whenever you do that, whenever I post a video, it'll show up on our YouTube homepage and you guys will be able to see it right there and right then and there. All right, so I hope you guys like this and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.